so as far as I can remember, Walker came in with um, a chunk of the chorus done. He had man, this, I think the what idea. Happened? I think the idea just stemmed from uh, like I was trying to quit something. I was trying to quit. Uh, I quit chewing tobacco. Right, right. At the end of the year when we when we started, it. and so that's the whole the what's the uh, get owning a pair of jeans, you know. Uh, Quitting dipping long enough to own, own a, a pair, pair of jeans, jeans that don't have a ring in yeah. the back left pocket. And that was that was kind of there that line. I yeah, think it was and just the idea of like, hey, hey man, there's a big lit. I think we were just like we agreed, dude. There's a whole bunch of things that maybe you don't you don't master in life, right. but like you're it's, always it's good to be just keep working on them because we're not we're not ever gonna like whittle ourselves down to some perfect person, but right. We're constantly looking in the mirror, going, "Dang it!" Yeah, I think the the dip thing hit home for both of us since we both done that in the past. Um, so it was something that, you know, it, we could a lot of people can relate to, and that we always seem to end up going back to a little bit, just because it's such a <laughs> and strong, the first the first line, addiction. like me and Doug, we've been writing together for about ten years now, and so you know this industry. It's it's hard to just go like oh I, I did something great now I'm now I'm good you just always you're always chasing after the next uh, cut or the next affirmation from your publisher that you wrote something great and you always think that the next one's gonna make you uh, just settle you down like the chasing after that dollar like it'll slow down you know we all right. I think just all dudes do that you know we always think that like oh we're gonna make this much money we're gonna succeed here and then we're it's gonna be like ah but it's never like ah it's always like let's do it again yeah do that. but i do remember that we he had you know i think he had walker usually is the idea guy between uh between the two of us you know a, a decent amount of the time and he had this hook or it was really close to it and I think we almost tried to change the hook for a little bit because it wasn't like for some reason it didn't like immediately nail me as being like this is the right hook but and you were like well maybe it's something close to that but right. we ended up saying wait a second this actually is it it totally works are you talking about just that's so what all us good old boys go out go working out. On yeah you had that yeah, it was because it is kind of a weird sentence when you just say it. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what but we're all somehow go out with. anyway, it, it it stayed. I think the first session, man. I mean, first we session. nailed the first verse. Oh, another thing is we say chasing after that buck, like oh, it'll yeah. slow down my hurry. Colt changed it to dollar, which I thought was like super cool. Yeah, yeah, um, they both. It sounds they great. Both work. And then. Uh, but we, I think the first session was probably December like 22nd or something weird. It was a it was weird in day December. in December. It was like the last song we wrote of 2013. That's right. And yep. we nailed the first verse and chorus. I mean, we knew. I mean, we were like, bam, mm -hmm. I think we have something real here. But then the second verse, it like, we probably went back and forth via text a lot. And that's what we do is like take yeah. stuff home and... And argue via phone. And yeah. usually, I mean, we do, we end up writing a song, like, in the first session a lot of times, but this one, it was like, we need to, we need to just hang it up for today and not try to force it. I think we do that sometimes when we know there's really something to it and you don't want to burn out on it and just get a half-hearted second verse. So, we, um, so the, at the end of the first session, yeah, I guess we, we had that first verse and chorus and... Yeah, the phone. And not to be and, like too dramatic, but the song is like really when you when we were writing it, all we were doing really is like we had really like a lot of songs me and Doug write, we can just be like, Oh, let's just invent this story but this was really like a a look in the mirror. Like we just right. were like I was just driving around going, Okay, what else is wrong with me that I don't do well that would be awesome if I did well. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like in my marriage or just life and uh like we had yeah. keys instead of tools because i really lose my keys all the time but then we needed the word rules and tools is more 
more country Colt can probably relate to that. I'm not like a big work on my truck guy, but no, I'm not. I'm not either. <laughs> but I'm glad. Yeah, I, and we like uh, we like alliteration too. So the temper and temper and my tools worked out pretty good with that. Yeah, I mean uh, that's tough for me and Doug because songs do, are like yeah. liquid. Yeah, they're just they're it's never... hard to close up. But we were kind of okay. We were editing it as we went, and we knew that we had, like, we knew it was tight when we were writing it, and you don't always know that. I mean, we knew, like, you know, we were even saying to each other, like, this is really tight. Right. Let's not screw it up. Like, so, you know, it was almost, it was mainly editing before we go, so besides, you know, the tools word, I mean, I can't think of anything in that first verse that we edited Dude, I'm getting um, goosebumps just thinking about it because it's kind of the first, back. the first like, I feel like once we had the, um, the uh, the first core, the first part of the chorus, the uh, turning off our, my mom's tears and filling our daddy's boots, we were like, okay, yeah, every line of this song has to at least live in the same home as this line. You know, we can't really beat that line. But right there, I felt like we said something that every guy is just going to go, golly, like, that's totally what I do every day of my life. And and so, and then um, the, the, the rest of the chorus, man, just fit great. And I remember being super pumped when we did the keeping our trucks up and running and then the yeah. middle of them. I just love that rhyme. It, fit, it just feels good. And... Uh, and then the and the man in the mirror took us a while. I feel like I feel yeah. like just wrapping it up. Because that was probably... so important, the line right before the hook, and you know, of course, we had to just get it right. Yeah. And that kind of, that kind of summed it up, you know. So we we hit we hit what we wanted to on that for sure. And then the bridge, like, I feel like it just kind of just came together out. easy. Yeah, yeah. The flesh and bone just kind of wraps it up in this nice, nice Doing little bow. And we didn't change the music in the bridge. Like we thought about that. Do we? Yeah. Do we take it out of the groove? It was, it was really fun to to whittle down because I feel like we spent a whole. I mean, I don't think it usually takes Doug and I that long to to just kind of say what we were, were trying to say and how we were trying to say it. Uh, but that one just. It seemed like each line we labored over, we we when we found it, it was so gratifying. It was like that hat, like it cannot be anything else than learning how to live and learn. You yeah. know, we we're like, oh, that's, we sound so smart. I don't know about <laughs> you, but I, I listen to it. Yeah, I, I listen to it now, and I'm kind of like, did we really like? Did we really write this? Yeah, you know, it's kind of one of those. Yeah, um, you don't get tunes. those every. Every, uh, yeah, every wish so could, often. Wish we could do that every Tuesday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think I, I think he exceeded my expectations. I mean, I thought it was going to be really cool and really good, but I just I cranked it up on some good speakers, and he just sang, he sang the heck out of it, and you know, made it his own. I mean, I think his. If you listen to Walker's version and his version, I mean they're they're pretty different. Like, I mean they're they're just their own unique kind of thing. Um, one thing we had uh, in the demo was a whistle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that we love we love the whistle and yeah, that's how it goes. And uh, that's my my wife's favorite um, part of the song, I think. But uh, so anyway, they put they put fiddle in there, which sounds great, and I'm glad they did, and I think it it fits his version um, better than the whistle. So um, that was that was one thing that was different. Um, he did, man. He, he's, he just nailed it. He he he's the most. I can't imagine anybody else singing those lyrics in a more believable. Way, I mean, he, I think he's just right. Just getting to know him through through get through being able to get this cut, he is he's just such an honest guy, and I feel like that's who's got to sing a song like this because all you all you're doing is disclosing all your weaknesses to the entire world and basically saying, "Is there anybody out there like me? Let's 
let's work on it, you know, like Cowboys. And he is that guy. I mean, he's not he's not a pretentious – he doesn't have a pretentious bone in his body. If, if you meet him, what, what you see is what you get, and he's trying. You know, he's working on himself, and, and uh, he's a go-getter. And I don't know, he just – his his personality just embodies the attitude of the song. He he even called. This is a great compliment to us. Is when I sent it to him. When I sent him the song, I sent him the song the night we finished the work tape, and I emailed it to him. And when I got home that night, I had an email back from him, and he just he said he said this is freaking incredible. I'm going to cut it. And I was like, that didn't just happen. Like no way, uh, you know. And then. We started texting each other, and he was like, like a couple hours went by, and he was like, I already know the words to the entire song. And I've talked to his band, and they all remember the night he got it, and that he was sitting there already just obsessed with it, like listening to it, trying to, you know, singing it just like, you know, the work tape yeah. uh, went. Like his phrasing's a lot similar to our demo's phrasing. I mean, he, oh, yeah. and he, he, he continually says, you know, if you read his, his uh, interviews and stuff that it kind of it, it kind of feels like a song he wrote, right? You know, and I think I don't I think most of his audience are going like to hear it and go, they're not even going to think it's an outside tune. And I th- man, I th- I'm so proud of that. That's what it's all that. about is make, yeah. you know that somebody else can totally make their own and feel like they wrote it. I think that's what it's. That's, that's the hardest all, thing. That's to the do. hardest thing to do. So yeah, when that happens, it's pretty cool. But he did. I mean, Colt. There is, and I'm I'm being dead serious, not even just saying this to 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 uh, kiss Colt's ass, but he just did it. He did it, man. I mean, he he rocked that song like nobody else is gonna yeah is gonna be able to to deliver it, and uh, it's so believable. I I get goosebumps every time I listen to it uh, right now. Even my dad liked it, and he <laughs> didn't like rap. <laughs> 